Mrs. Abassi, who is from Spain. She says she, she has some knowledge of Islam. Mm -hmm. Her question is, I would like to know what differences from your point of view are there between Jesus and Muhammad? Peace be upon them. I think from one angle, if you look at Jesus and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them, there is no difference because both are from God. But there is a difference between the Jesus who is created by St. Paul, the Jesus of Trinity, the so-called genus Jesus who asked people to worship him. There is definitely a difference between that Jesus and Prophet Muhammad wasallam. So, in this way, there is a difference and there is no difference at all. So we believe Jesus to be an ordinary human being, extraordinary only in the sense that God created him with his will, not with his sperm. God has no sperm. So he was not literally the son of God, only it was a word of endearment which were used for him. So, in that respect, there is no difference between Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Jesus Islam. Again, there is, yes, yes, there is one more difference. Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, admonished Muslims that if they break their ties with any prophet of God, anywhere in the world, in any age, that would be tantamount to breaking their ties with Muhammad Sallallahu himself. There is no such admonishment reported by about reported to Jesus that he made any such claim. Never have I heard or read that Jesus said, "Whoever." breaks ties with Prophet Muhammad or with all other prophets in the world, he breaks ties with me. So, this is a sense of universality in Islam which binds all the prophets of the world to Prophet Muhammad and if they refuse any of the past prophets, they break their ties with Prophet Muhammad as well, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Mr. Al 